Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144KM Hydrogen Man. Alright guys, before I begin I want to let you know I'm not giving you any medical advice and I'm not making any medical claims and I want to read to you my disclaimer. The statements in this video are the opinions of the speaker and should not be construed as claims for or against any product or products. This video is for research purposes only. Alright guys, so with that being said, I'm not doing a full review on the 20, this is the 2022 Lourdes Hydrofix Premium. It, there definitely is some changes. I'll show you a few of them, but I'm not going to do a full review unless you guys want that. And if you guys want to just go ahead and comment below and I'll make an effort to do a full review. The reason that I'm sharing this with you guys today is because there's some new revolutionary hydrogen patent technology that literally nobody in the world has. They don't even know about it. This is going to be the first place where you're going to hear about this technology. I will start off by telling you guys, I'm sure you already well know that I don't recommend the hydrogen pills. I don't recommend those little H2 bottles that are made whether in China or even some in the US or Taiwan or Korea. I don't recommend any of those. They all use pretty much the same metal technology and it's all from China and I don't and they directly ionize water and electrolyze water. I don't recommend any of that stuff. And you're about to find out why because I'm only about the best. And I don't recommend Brown's gas either, guys. You know that I don't recommend anything where you have to use lye. Anytime you have to use lye or sodium hydroxide, you're literally revealing that you have an inferior technology because if you really wanted to make Brown's gas, you could do it without lye. Of course, it'd be more expensive if you wanted to do it properly, but is there any other way to do something other than properly? I mean, that's my opinion on the matter. But let's go ahead and move forward here. Let me just share a few of the technologies here in regards to this new one because it is blowing my mind and I really wanna, I've been so excited to share with you guys. The first is that this is obviously the most advanced non-electrolyzed water technology there is, meaning this water never becomes electrolyzed or ionized. That's why you don't have to worry about certain minerals that would be in the water if they happen to be in there. And I'm actually working with a doctor at this time because I developed an interesting technique that's actually gonna even already revolutionized my protocol. I've already been doing it and guys, it is so next level. I couldn't believe the differences that I'm feeling even with this new this new way of doing it. So if you guys wanna know more about that, also comment below and I'll, I'll also make an effort to share my new techniques with you that are just taking hydrogen to the next level. So that's the first thing. Now, a lot of people use SPE and PEM technology. What I began to find out during all my research is that there's different grades of it, just like there's different grades of steel. Uh, like the steel from China, what that they call grade A compared to America, it's not the same. Uh, the grade A steel from America is far superior. And so there are different grades of this particular membrane and the Hydrofix Premium uses the highest grade there is in existence. So everything is top notch. It's one of the reasons that the machines are obviously a little more pricey because if you wanna do hydrogen right, you know, you have to have the best materials. Even it actually ended up surpassing everybody's expectations, which is one of the reasons this device is actually used medically, like in medical centers in Japan, and also because it's lab tested and lab certified. Nobody in the industry does that. And I think if you guys have seen my other lab test videos, you've seen that a lot of the claims that are being made by other companies don't appear to be the same as what they're actually putting out as far as the amount of hydrogen and whatnot. And that's obviously a huge issue in the industry, but whatever, that's a whole other story. Because what I really wanna to talk to you guys about is this new technology that it's using. It is using what's called the Nemka effect technology. Now that particular technology was being used, I believe in their 2021 model, and I believe even in their 2020 model, um, maybe even back to the 19 model. So that, that's been used for a while. It's called non-faradaic electrochemical modification of catalytic activity. Basically, the amount of electricity that this device uses per the amount of hydrogen that it's able to produce makes literally no sense to a lot of people because they don't even understand it. Even the people in America who supposedly understand hydrogen just can't even wrap their mind around it. And they're like, it doesn't make sense. Well, it's just because the Japanese are literally like number one in the world when it comes to electronics and the way that they use the electricity to obviously carry out this process. And it's just so next level that people just, they, they really just can't understand it. But that's not the most exciting part, guys. The most exciting part to me is their new Vive technology. Now, they call, their state-of-the-art Vive technology, which is an expanded metal technology, they call it vortex-induced vibration engineering. Me, personally, that's not what I would have called it. I would call it, and be careful now, because a lot of people always try to copy my terms, and you're gonna see this out in the world of hydrogen, and if they do, you know that they don't actually have this technology because it's actually patented, and there's only one company in the world that can do it, and from what I was informed by the company is they're not even particularly worried about anybody even trying to do it, because one, they don't know how to do it, and two, even if they knew how to do it, the level of technology that it requires to do this, to carry out such a 
technology and hydrogen is so difficult that they don't even believe anybody in the world could do it. it. It would cost a ton of money and it would take them a very long time to figure it out. But basically what it's doing, guys, I would call it expanded metal, super nano, hydrogen vortex induced technology. That's what I would have personally called it because what they're doing, guys, is they're literally vortexing hydrogen. And they're not just doing a, a simple vortex. The hydrogen, because of the specific way that they've expanded the metal and the routes that they've created, it almost flows like a river and goes through, they induce this type of uh, frequency in it, and it begins to have these, these the hydrogen um, colliding against each other also, and they're creating even smaller super nano bubbles to the point where it's just beyond what anybody can do right now in the world of hydrogen. These guys are literally at the top of the food chain as far as hydrogen technology. And then it begins to vortex within vortexes. So a lot of people who don't understand about vortex technology, and I haven't gone into it a lot, though I have a lot of data on it, it's not as simple as just vortexing water. Uh, but it, these are vortexes within vortexes and they just get to the next level when it comes to hydrogen technology. And what, the funny part about it that I didn't really understand at first is they were implementing it already in the 2021 model. I never personally knew about it. And I think, I'm just guessing here, I think it had something to do with them working on the patents or whatever, so they weren't telling anybody. But it's clearly in the 2022 model now. And there's a few differences, which I'll just show you real briefly in a second. But I did notice an actually huge difference. And it was weird because I was feeling the effects even back in the 21 model. And I believe I made some videos, if you guys go back and look about my long-term um, benefits of using hydrogen for so long. I thought it was because I'd been using hydrogen for so long. I didn't realize is that they had implemented a new technology that even I didn't know about. And maybe they didn't tell me because they know that if they tell me I'm gonna do a video because I get real excited about this stuff. But I was definitely feeling the effects without even knowing. So that's a powerful thing because that lets you know right there it's not placebo because I was feeling it when I didn't even know that there was anything going on. So this new level of technology, you're not, forget structuring water, you're structuring the very source of water or even light because obviously the, the majority of the water is made of H2, which is molecular hydrogen, which is what they're structuring. But also they're, stru I mean, we're talking about the sun, look at the sun, it's primarily made of hydrogen. And we're talking about structuring almost like this light particle within the water. It's just, I, I cannot, I cannot emphasize enough how amazing and how special this is. And unfortunately, I can't share too many details about how they're doing it uh, just because I've been asked not to. But I'll just show you a few of the options on the new model because it's different. If you tap the button, it goes to 30 minutes. It used to go to 10 before. If you tap it again, it goes to 90. So this is actually for long-term inhalation, which I actually like because I used to always have to reset the machine every single time. Uh, the 30 minutes were done. So no more 10 minute mode, which I don't think you really need. I mean, if you had the water to here to this line and you ran it for the 30 minutes and 10 minutes later, it's at 20 minutes here, that water would be full of hydrogen anyway. So that would be fine. If you hold down the button, you used to go down to standby, but now if you notice it turned off the lights on the screen and it also turns off the lights inside the picture, those blue lights. And you can see right here, it looks like these little ripples. This is just a film that's on the screen and I just kept it on there to keep it protected. But I could peel that off and it would look perfect, but I just like to do it this way. And then if you tap the button, nothing else happens at this point unless you hold it. And if you hold it, it shuts the machine off. I've been tinkering around with this machine for a few weeks to get familiar with it before I kind of talked about it because I really didn't completely understand all this. And now that I understood it, I wanted to share it with you guys because guys, this is amazing in the world of hydrogen, completely revolutionary. And I wanted to share this with you guys because was, I was really excited. So uh, don't forget to support the channel by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe as it's free guys. And I'm gonna continue to bring some really amazing information to you guys. I have so much more to share, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on the next one.